Hey guys, in this video I'm going to explain how to do the elusive water start. Now if you haven't perfected your body dragging, make sure you go watch my video and practice that as much as possible, because the more you practice your body dragging, the easier water starting will become. Now it all happens really quickly, in a matter of seconds. There's a fine line between having a smooth takeoff and doing a superman. So let's get into it. Before attempting the water start, there are several prerequisites. You should be very confident body dragging in all directions, including body dragging upwind. I can't stress how important it is to be very confident body dragging upwind before attempting water starts. It makes the whole process so much easier. Plus, if you crash in deep water, you can actually recover your board. If you're not confident with your body dragging, check out my body drag tutorial here. The conditions make a big difference to how easy or hard it is to water start. It's best to learn in waist to chest deep flat water. So if you fall, it's easier to stand and recover your board, but make sure it's not dangerously shallow. Learning water starts in waves is going to be much harder. And finally, make sure there is nobody downwind. Here are three simple but very important exercises you must practice before trying to water start. Number one. Practice flying the kite one-handed and holding onto the board in the other hand. Then switch hands. Progress onto practicing putting the board on your feet in the water. Bend down with your legs out in front of you. As you bend down, have your kite at 10 or 2. Try not to have your kite directly above you to avoid your kite falling out the sky when you sit down. Hold either the foot strap or the handle with one hand and the other hand on the bar. Then put one foot in the foot strap, the opposite foot to the hand holding your board, then place your other foot in. Wiggle your foot around to make sure they are properly in. At this point, kick your feet out and start over. Do this a few times before going further. Three, once your board is on your feet, now you need to learn how to control your board using your kite. Always try to keep your board perpendicular to your kite. If you straighten your right leg, you will spin left. If you straighten your left leg, you will spin right. Practice this as you slowly drift downwind. This is a really important exercise as you need to control your board on your feet before trying to get up. Common mistakes are to take one hand off the bar and try to swim yourself round. Most of the time, this ends badly. So if you do get spun around, let go of the bar, reset yourself and start over. Now you're ready to learn the water start. This all happens very quickly. So it's important to start with less power and gradually build up the power to avoid doing a superman and scaring yourself. Begin with the kite around 12 and your board perpendicular to the kite. With your knees bent towards your chest, dive the kite in the direction you want to go. Let the kite pull you forwards onto the board. As you come out of the water, stand up on the board and straighten your front leg. Straightening your front leg is very important as that initiates the direction of travel. Most of your weight should be on your back leg, which is bent. Once you're out the water, when the kite is around 45 degrees, steer the kite back up to avoid it crashing. As the kite comes up, let the bar out. Then, bar in, dive the kite back down into another power stroke. Continue steering the kite up and down to continue riding. These power strokes will keep your momentum and speed. Once you have enough speed and apparent wind, you will be able to leave the kite at around 45 degrees and cruise along. That's officially when you are a kite surfer. Congrats. To stop, bring the kite up to 12, sheet the bar out and lean back. Check out my video on how to stop here. Let's look at some common mistakes. The most common mistake is having both legs straight or straightening your entire body, which can result in a bad crash. It's really important to point downwind towards your kite as you come out the water. You can point the board downwind by straightening your front leg and pointing your toes. Be careful not to straighten your front leg too early. This can cause you to catch the nose of your board in the water. 
If this does happen and you end up backwards in the water, try not to correct it. Kick the board off, let go of the bar, reset and start over. Trying to spin yourself back around holding the bar will end badly. Most people's instinctive reaction is to grip tightly and pull in the bar and hold it. Don't try to pull yourself up using your upper body strength. Let the power of the kite pull your hips through the harness. Try holding the bar with your fingertips. If you're not getting enough power to get up, then you're probably not steering the kite enough. If you don't turn it quick enough, it will stay at the edge of the wind window and it won't provide enough lift. The next progression is to start with your kite at either 1 or 11 p.m. The opposite side of the window to the direction you want to travel. This will help get more lift and power. Try to dive your kite into the power zone rather than steering it around the edge of the window. Finding the balance of power is the hardest aspect of the water start. There are many factors that affect this from your own weight to the size of the kite and what board you have. Too much power and you do a superman. Not enough power and you can't get out the water. So start slowly and build it up. Avoid scaring yourself. Here are some top tips. It's very important to be able to control the strength of your power dive. The slower you steer the kite, the less the kite will dive into the power. The faster you steer the kite, the more the kite will dive into the power. If your power dive is too weak, then you can always try again. By diving the kite too fast means bad crashes and broken kites. As the kite pulls, roll your head and shoulders forwards. Don't try to edge away from the kite straight away. Point your toes forward and twist your hips to flatten out the board and point the board downwind towards the kite. As the kite comes up, sheet the bar out slightly. As the kite comes down, sheet the bar back in. Think about trying to pump the kite as it comes up and down. Once you're up and riding, try to twist your upper body towards your direction of travel. Lean back and bring your shoulders back. Now you're starting to hold your ground and even go upwind. Remember, you should always get lessons when learning. Having the right gear in the correct conditions will make a huge difference to your progression. And be patient. This all happens in a matter of seconds and is one of the hardest parts of learning to kite surf. There is so much to take in. Start slow and build up so you don't scare yourself. Once you have cracked this, you are away and the rest will flow. So as you can see, it all happens very quickly. That's why I'd recommend starting slow and building up slowly. You don't want to scare yourself and watch the video loads of times and make sure you've got a good amount of power. You don't want to be too overpowered. You don't want to be too underpowered. You want to be just right. Cheers for watching. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing. It all really helps my channel, much appreciated. See you in the next video. Peace out.